What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers. Now, welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the best. Um, I appreciate all the likes, subscribes, um, donations, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. If you like to donate, it's High Priestess for our five links in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. Very private, confidential way to donate. I do not publicly display how much you donate or your name on the channel for privacy and confidentiality purposes. Just to let everybody know, I appreciate all you guys and just saying, just saying. Okay, so um, I got another channel to end. They're just flying in today, just saying, just saying. So um, I'm doing them. They've been resonating pretty quickly out from the time that I've been getting them. So I, I, when I'm able to, I put them out there, just saying. Okay, so um, it's a free general collective reading. So it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and uh, leave the rest, um, just to let everybody know, okay? So, and this is, a, um, well, yeah, it's, it's a little mushy-gushy. It's a little mushy-gushy. I ain't gonna lie. Little, little, it's a little, little mushy-gushy. Okay. So the channel message I received was, um, through many series of chain of events, um, okay, I heard an earth sign has very secret, um, feelings for a fire sign, earth sign masculine for a fire sign film. Um, but I heard through many series of chain of events, it's going to come out soon, sooner than this earth sign anticipated. Um, true feelings is what I heard. True feelings. So, you know, it's, there's a thing called lust and there's a thing called love. Just, um, to let everybody, all you young bucks know, there's a thing called lust and there's a thing called love. I'm 38. So trust me. Um, I've been there. I've been there with the lust. Um, I have, um, and I've been there with love. So, and there's definite, there's huge differences on lust and love. Whoever this is. And I didn't hear love in here, but I heard feelings. So, I mean, it could eventually down the line turn into love. Um, or it might already be there. Hell, I don't know. I'm not this earth sign. So, um, you have to plug it in how it resonates earth sign. But it's an earth sign dude. It's a, an actual masculine with a penile part. So, earth sign dude. They could have uh, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Femme, and Hebrew, Jupiter charts. Um, to a fire sign femme. An Aries, Leo, Sag. Fem energy. They could have Aries, Leo, Sag in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Orca, Midheim, or Jupiter chart. So, Earth sign, masculine, fire sign, fem. Earth sign has tr um, true feelings, like true emotional feelings towards this fire sign, fem, but they have not told the fire sign, fem. Whoever you are, Earth sign, masculine, or fire sign, fem. Um, however, you plug into this situation, or you could be somebody that knows these people, possibly. You have to plug yourself in where you resonate if you do. You could either be this person, this person, or somebody that knows these people, however that resonates. But I heard the earth sign masculine has not told the fire sign femme how they, um, how they feel. And it's very, um, it's very deep and true. Okay, I heard it's very deep and true. Holy crap. Well, this sounds like a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, I'm serious. I mean, because don't get me wrong. Yes, you want to um, be very attracted to your partner have lots of lust and uh, passion and desire drive and motivation. And yes, when you are with your partner, I hope you have lust for them. And I'm being serious about that. But there needs to be more than that. There needs to be more than lust. There has to be commitment. There has to be um, passion. There has to be commitment. Commitment, people. Commitment, just saying. Um, and that's the truth. It's the truth. Um, but I heard very true, deep feelings. So, I mean, it's, Maybe it could lead to a commitment is what I'm trying to say. But they haven't told this fire sign femme. They haven't told the so fire sign femme. Fire sign femme, you could be highly intuitive and maybe you know it inside yourself. I feel how, a lot of you guys, a lot of my subs, you're highly intuitive. So you probably know. You probably know inside. But there's nothing like you can know inside yourself all day long and have high, high intuition. But if the person doesn't tell you how they feel and cannot open up their throat chakra and display it to you and with their throat chakra and their mouth then it, it does nothing for the relationship to help it grow and that's just the truth relationship 101 for everybody just just saying and it's the truth it's the truth so um but he hasn't he hasn't told her how he felt uh failed how he failed that makes no sense how he feels 
how he feels. Um, but I heard through many series of chain of events, it's actually going to happen sooner than um, he anticipated. So you plug it in, how it resonates, um, earth sign masculine. And we have us shuffled. We have strategy on the bottom of the deck. Number 21 could be a very significant number in uh, one's life, possibly number 21. Uh, and I just want to throw this out here, fire sign fam, um, or earth sign masculine, or you might need to hear this. Hopefully it's not a crazy person from your past. We don't need crazy people from the past that have screwed you over in the past, that have done you dirty, that have um, uh, harmed you in some shape, form, or fashion, unless they have really mended their fences and they have really come around and they're a different person and you know they're a different person. I mean, people can change. People can change absolutely, but there has to be some proof in the pudding with the change. Um Hopefully that helps somebody out here, Fire Sign Fem. Hopefully this helps you. And hopefully this helps you, Earth Sign Masculine. I mean, because you can't accept, uh, expect going around and screwing people over and screwing people over and screwing people over and screwing people over and um, not doing any of your healing and shadow work and expect just to give what the hell you want. And that's the truth. Now, people do. People use dark arts all the damn time and get what they want, manifest in what they want, manifest in what they want, manifest in what they want. And they get what they want. But eventually... The black magic will backfire. It will backfire eventually. So wouldn't it use logical, sane, logical sense to just do it the fucking right way the first time? And that way you don't have any backfiring energy coming on you later down the line? And I'm just being serious. An earth sign's getting a huge wake-up call. Okay, I heard air oh, Okay, I'm pulling you in, earth sign. Um, no, this could be a masculine or femur sign, whoever you are. I heard an earth sign's getting a huge wake-up call. So you could be the earth sign masculine, about to pour his feelings out for the fire sign film, getting a huge wake-up call. Or you could be a chickadoo or a chickadoo that's not related to this situation, getting a huge wake-up call. Whoever you are, earth sign person. You get have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Ortho, Midhammer, Jupiter, charts, but heavy earth sign energy in here. We have strategy on the bottom of the deck. Number 21 could be very significant in one's life, possibly. Number 21. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible date of birth number, possible lottery number, possible social security card number, possible green card number. Number 21, strategy. This earth sign has a plan, but he needs to be honest and he knows this and he's about to be. And you're right, Earth sign. It's the honesty is the best policy here. Okay, so whoever I think it's you, I think it's you, Earth sign dude. Heard uh, you have a plan, Earth sign. Uh, it might be it might be the Earth sign that's getting a huge wake up call if you're a chickadoo up here, possibly. Hell, I don't know. You plug it in how it resonates in your own life. But I heard um, you're getting a huge wake up call. I think you, Earth sign dude. You plug in your life out resonates, but you're getting a, I think it's you because of the message. Um, I heard you're getting a huge wake up call and, um, you know, honesty is the best policy with this person, with this fire sign film. So she likes honesty. She likes honesty, truth, clarity. She likes the damn truth. You know her, you know her. I mean, it's not a new person. Um, I don't feel it's a new person. Um, it's either, okay, wait, hold on. It's either a fairly new person or a person of your past, like a long person of your past, a person of your past, or a fairly new person. However, this resonates. But you know she likes honesty. I heard you know honesty is the best policy. And you're right. Okay, wait, hold on. It's skirt. Skirt. Okay, so it doesn't have to be a person in your past. I think maybe you, Earth Sign, have learned from your past. Whether it's a new person or a person of your past, because I hope it's not anything toxic from the past, is what I'm trying to say. I, I hope to God not. Let's move on, people. Let's move on to better things, just saying. No toxicity from the past. So it could be a new person, is what I'm trying to say. Hopefully. I hope it is, because that way people are breaking toxic cycles and moving on, is what I'm trying to say. But if it is, however that resonates, how the hell it resonates, whether it's a recently new person, a new new person, somebody of your past, what the hell have you, you know honesty is the best policy. I think for the new the new fire sign fam, if that plugs into your life, or a fairly new fire sign fam in your life, or sign dude, you know honesty is the best policy. So I think you are highly intuitive. You're highly intuitive, or sign dude. You know honesty is the best policy. Um, and I heard you're right. 
from spiritual realm. So you're right. Honesty is the best policy. So you need to be honest. Uh, you have feelings for this person, but you haven't said anything. I heard you have a plan. Maybe part of your plan is, um, I heard several shocking series of chain of events were going to occur um, that's going to um, cause you to display your feelings sooner than you thought. So um, something's going to happen in the universe that's going to cause you to display your feelings for her sooner than you had anticipated. So y'all are either currently conversing or you have in the past or maybe you're going to start conversing in some shape, form, or fashion. However that resonates for you, Earth sign. But that, that, there's conversing energy here. And I'm serious about that. Um, that's exactly what I'm feeling. So strategy. There's a plan. There's a game plan. Spirit messages you have requested. Indecision reverse. Number eight could be a very significant number in your life. Number eight, indecision reverse. You were very undecided on it in the past, but you, you know in your heart it's going to happen and you're right. Oh my God, Ursan, dude. I'm pulling you in so strong. Okay, so I heard um, you were very undecided on it in the past. I guess telling her how, how you feel or honest with her about something. Now what, you know, it's honesty is the best policy energy here. So you're either telling her how you feel or you're either being honest with her about something. So it's the honesty is the best policy energy here. So you're either being honest with her through these shocking series of shame events and telling her how you feel on a romantical scale. Or you are being honest with her about something important. And it's going to create series of shame events. That's uh, how I feel that it's two ways it could go. But honesty energy here. However that resonates. Um, I heard basically... Um, you were undecided about it in the past, but you know um, it's going to be the best route down the line is what I'm feeling here um, from the spiritual download. Um, and it sounds like maybe this shocking series of chain events is going to cause, cause it. Um, I feel communication here. Like I said, whether you're pouring out your heart to her or you are um, just being honest with her about something, the communication is about to come with this fire sign fence. Whoever this is to you, for um, Ursan dude, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, dude, you could have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and Midtown with Jupiter. Heard you were undecided about in the past, but basically it's about to happen. So you plug it in, how it resonates. The Sun reversed, Magician in the Mirror upright. One or 53 could be very significant numbers in your life in some, some shape, form, or fashion. I cannot speak at. One or 53. Um, you could be dealing with a Leo, possibly. Or you could, well, I heard, or, um, fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. And we have Tauran energy in here, too. Magician in the mirror. So, for some, you could be the Taur, you could be a Taurus, possibly, for some of you guys. Or have Taurus in your chart. Um, or this person could have Leo in their chart. Because we have Leo and Tauran energy in here. Very strong. Magician in the mirror energy is Tauran energy. Um, possibly you plug it in, how it resonates. Taurus and Leo energy in here, very strong. The sun reverse, magician in the mirror, upright. One or 53 could be very significant numbers in your life. One could be a uh, possible age of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to. 53 could be age of you or somebody you're connected to. Possible date of birth number, possible lottery number, possible social security card number, possible green card number, one or 53. The sun reverse. It's been making you very miserable holding it in. But things are about to change in a huge way. Okay. I heard um, it's been making you very miserable holding it holding it in, but things are about to change in a huge way. So 555 energy in here, change energy all across the board. Um, so it's been miserable 
you've been miserable or Earth Sun Dude. Uh, strongly feel for some of you could be Taurans. Because uh, we got Taurus energy strong up in here. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. Um, you've been miserable holding it in. But I heard basically um, it's about to come out. It's about to come out soon. 555 five, five, change energy in here. Um, seriously. So uh, unhappiness. Unhappiness um, and, and, and enlightenment. Meaning you haven't told you haven't been honest with um, her in some shape, form, or fashion. No enlightenment, and it's making you unhappy because you have not enlightened her in some shape, form, or fashion, whether it's just honesty or whether it's pouring out your heartstrings over there or both. Hell, I don't know. I'm not you, only you know you know, you know know your story, Ursan dude. Um, magician in the mirror. This earth sign masculine has really done a lot of self-reflection. Recently. Okay, I heard this earth sign masculine has really done a lot of self-reflection recently. So you, earth sign masculine, um, heavy emphasis on torn energy, just saying. Um, I heard you've really done a lot of um, self-reflection recently. So you've really self-reflected inside yourself, like when in hermit mode, um, magician in the mirror mode, torn energy, um, and self-reflected. Um, also, this is um, also uh, is torn energy, but it also is uh, Virgo energy too, hermit energy, which um, this is not hermit energy. This is torn energy, the magician in the mirror, so um, energy. But the hermit card is. Virgo energy is what I'm trying to say. We're picking up heavy earth sign energy in here. Going like hermit, true hermit energy is Virgo energy. Just saying. So you plug it in how it resonates. Some you could be a Virgo possibly. Um, but however that resonates, you're a good manifester. You're a hella good manifester, I'll tell you that. Hella good manifester. Yeah, you are. Whoever you are. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, dude. You're a hella manifester. You want to manifest in this um, fire sign. Fem. Chickadoo. Um, but I think you might have met your match, is what I think. Most certainly has met their match. They know this intuitively. Oh, shit. Oh, it's coming out. It's coming out. Okay, so I heard you most certainly have your, missed your match. So you know inside yourself you've met your match. Oh, my God, this is getting so juicy. Um, you're highly intuitive, our son, dude. I heard you have met your match. You know inside yourself you've met your match with the whole manifesting this fire sign film in. I think it's on a personal level. I do. I don't think this is professional. I think this is on a personal level. You want to manifest this um, person in on a personal level. But you're about to, either you currently have a lot of communication with this person or you're about to have a lot of communication with them. How that resonates. Um, so... You communicate with them, I think, on a professional level. But I think you want to manifest them in on a personal level is what I think. According to the downloads, I heard you're an excellent manifester. So you usually manifest anything you want in your life. I heard you're an excellent manifester. And kudos to you, um, whoever you are. You sound like my kind of person. Um, but I heard you met your match. Uh, and you know you have. Um so, but here's the thing. If you met your match and you know you have, it's just, you're going to have to communicate. 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 Just saying, just saying. You're going to have to. Um, because if you don't and you met your match and you don't communicate with this person, they're not going to feel probably, they're not going to feel the way you want them to feel. And don't you want them to feel happy? I heard you don't feel happy about the situation. Well, how the hell do you think they feel? You're, yeah, you're an excellent manifester, Earth sign dude, but you have to think of the other person. You ever thought about that? Just saying, just saying. No food for thought. All right, let me see if I hear anything else.
Okay, I didn't. I didn't hear anything else. All right, we're done. Well, good luck there, Earth Sun, dude. Just saying. Love y'all. Namaste.